Hi there, Gemini. Welcome to my channel. This is a love romantic relationship reading for you. This is for Gemini friends. I hope you're doing well. Please universe, what can I get for Gemini friends? This is an after breakup tarot reading session for my Gemini. What's the message for Gemini? What is ready for them to know and meant for them to know? For Gemini friends, singles please. Okay. I hope you're doing well guys. This is for you. Okay. Um so let's look at the past situation, Gemini. You've got here the Page of Pentacles in reverse and the Hermit card in reverse and the Four of Pentacles. Um for some of you guys, one of the reasons that you break up is that there is a lack of time. Um, you're not really, someone in here is not really getting, not receiving enough love, attention, affection. Something to do with someone hold back because they're feeling not secure and so they reserve whatever is, is with them. And it, it just created the blockage. Like you, you've created the blockage. Someone in here created the blockage. And it was just um, a huge, you know, it, it's like a stone. You created a wall. Someone created a wall. Um, yeah, Page of Pentacles, it is, you know, someone is not really making an effort to take you out, to even send a message. It's like you don't matter to them it's 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 a reading where you know it's it's so petty for some of you it's a it's it's a petty but it build up and it trigger you guys to be frustrated and it you guys break up as simple as that but page of pentacles this is this is for you your argument is that a message a call is so simple you know and you couldn't provide that to me it's so obvious that i'm i'm not important to you because a, a call or a message or making time with me is not your priority i mean for some of you you know you think that a relationship is a commitment so one message or more than that is a commitment for you to say hello or hi it's it's really is saying to me that it's abnormal not to receive a message or a call from your boyfriend or your girlfriend you know it's it's just unusual in our in our you know in the modern days there's so much ways to connect to reconnect and to to send your um thought with the person without having to see them physically so for some of you this is a financial problem or someone is holding back or very st stingy in terms of like for some of you this is the last part of the relationship where your person is really not into giving time to you and of course it's if, if a person is not setting aside time for you then how will the relationship grow or become stronger or it's simple as how would you maintain your love if your person is not making an effort to see you all right so th this is what happened someone hold back someone put a blockage someone put a wall to develop that emotion so it was ego Right. It was an obvious ego, ego-driven kind of relationship in here. For some of you, I'm really picking up. It was so petty. It was it was petty. It could be fixed, but ego, ego is here. Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo and Virgo. So more futuristically, um, two of wands. Yep, it didn't proceed. It was not successful. You guys separated. For some of you, you sacrifice a lot with this person. You move. You join them and it didn't happen it was a waste of time or for some of you they promised to see you or to join you overseas but they couldn't make up the promise so you guys broke up you know the plan the passionate plan the passionate plan or the passionate the passion that you put with your plan in the future it was gone it was for some of you you're feeling like um you're feeling like um you're feeling like it was it was it was just you know it was regret you know regret that you know we could have patched things up or something to do with you've got great plans as passionate this planning and it's passionate and it's a good plan but you guys keep you know um 
arguing with something you don't know how to start you don't it's it's a re it's an after breakup tarot reading where you guys like each other you've got passion but you don't know how to build you've got here because i've got I've, i was you know you've got here five of wands this five of wands energy this five people they have one goal one common goal is to build a house right and that is your goal to build a relationship with this person a relationship that will turn to engagement marriage or a long partnership or a family but you don't know how to build it you like to build it but you don't know what tools to use to build it and the missing tools is time financial money set up something to do with tangent tangible and practical that is the you know that is the that is the stuff that took a blow in your relationship. It's you don't know how how you build, what tools you use to maintain or to build or to keep this relationship going. All right. For some of you, it could just be you, or for some of you, Gemini, this is this is your partner. They they they're irresponsible or they don't know how to build. Loving, liking, it's there, but the the long term prolonged, you know, because the magician card is in reverse. So it means that it's it's a weakness of them. They're very good on the start, but in the middle part, they've kind of lost their interest, or they don't know, they don't want to put a lot of effort. And you need to follow up with them in order for them to do their part of the play, part of the role. So yeah, and then you you guys break up. For some of you, there's a lot of distraction, competition. You're not in alignment with which with each other's goals, ambition priority and you've decided to just separate and let it go okay priority you don't know how to build you don't know what tools to use to maintain or to keep this relationship i'll get um three more cards what's the other message for gemini please three cards additional message for gemini is this person thinking about gemini any futuristic insight message for gemini will they connect They've got some truth to deliver to you about finances. You could still be having some financial issue with this person. Um, you could be the father or the mother of their kids. Or you could have shared something of a monetary investment. Possibly a house. You know, or, or the deposit of the house. Something to do with financial stuff. Um, if this is not finances... Um, you will have some sort of communication with your person because um, I felt like this energy is is coming from your person from your ex they will initiate a communication and the message the communication is pointing out that it's your fault or it's kind of leading to a conversation where if we if you guys disconnected separated or break up it was it was you who's demanding a lot of time or you or for some of you I'm getting to to I'm getting two messages in here, all right? You're going to get a conversation, a message. You're going to be connected with, again, with this person, whether it's in passing, but along that message's conversation, your person is going to blame you, that it's your fault because you're so clingy, you're so needy. Um, for some of you, your person is going to be honest with you. It's going to be sharp bang, and say, okay, it's my fault. I'm the one who's having a mistake. I'm the one who's this and blah, blah, blah. So what? So it's, it's a bit of challenging. I don't think that they want to reconnect or rekindle, but it's something to do with, let's, let's, let's make it clear, your fault. For some of you, the message, it's my fault. All right? It's, it's, um, it's something to do with the universe is bringing you this person or this conversation so that you can move on. Like, you know, this is an opportunity where you would see that your ex is really a douchebag, like, Oh my God, they haven't changed because they they're they made a mistake, or but they they lack empathy or they 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 lack respect. You know, you guys already break up and they're still disrespectful when they talk. Something like that. That this conversation will will kind of confirm that it's it, it's good we break up or because for some of you they're admitting that it's my fault and so what. I don't give a shit. We're, you, we break up already. So it was rude. It, it was kind of rude for some of you. For some of you, um, 
you know it, it's it's an opportunity for for you to correct this person but i don't really i'm not really interested you know there would be a communication but it's I'm, I'm getting a message i'm getting in here that you just get ready with this gemini but there's nothing really interesting that they offer you in fact to counter this rudeness this sharp tongue this sharp conversation is to ignore them like you're not affected this is how you can counter this kind of conversation you know you, you don't you don't let them they will not win if you ignore them it's like do not let them get into your energy something like that it's not worth i wouldn't even you know i wouldn't even bother to reply it's like nah so i'm not really i'm seeing this re i'm seeing you might because you might still be tempted to um to to reply and clear stuff but what's the point you've already break up you know but it's, it's from the reading the, the messages is that it's not interesting at all you know because it will never get you back together you know no matter how you talk about issue it will never because they're they're not meant to rekindle they're meant to attack something like that they're meant to blame okay so if they're blaming you they're picking a fight it's you know be tough enough and ignore that's that's how i deal with it but there's gonna be a connection again all right if this takes place if if this because i'm feeling like this will be around november but if they reach out december time i think it would be softer it would be softer meaning to say it would be feminine energy where um they they're more admitting their issues and error so they might accept that it's their fault. It, it might be a different kind of vibe. It's it's too far for me to pick that up. But I felt like if they reach out December time, um, things would be different. Things would be softer between the two of you. It's it's much better in terms of energy. But if it's November, October, November time, if that, they reach out, it's a blame game. Okay? So thank you, Gemini. This is your after breakup reading. I hope this... Um, this reading speaks towards you and you pick up an insight that would assist you and help you i hope to see you soon again and i hope i get a thumbs up and a like and a subscribe you take care guys bye bye